So what's interesting here is that I didn't really get any of these goals accomplished in this game. Uh, this Black Barn Deemer formation was played extremely well by a 2300 plus blitz rated player as Black, and I'm going to show you that. Um, he was up virtually the entire game, never more than about half a pawn. Uh, at one point he missed an opportunity where he could have gone up a pawn or more. And we're going to cover this game and we're going to show you exactly where he went wrong um, and where I went right. And he missed an opportunity and I capitalized on it. So um, without further ado, we're going to take a look at the game. As you can see, he's playing Carol Can. And now the computer doesn't like my move. The annotations in white are Stockfish 8's recommendations. I developed the bishop to that square, even though he's ultimately going to probably be forced to d3 in most cases, to deter him from pinning my bishop, or my, my knight rather, with his bishop on g4. So now this is a very standard type formation. Now I have the opportunity to do something that I normally do, which is castle kingside and move knight to e5. And for some reason I castle queenside in this game, possibly because I just wanted to experiment. Now we're uh, now he's decided he's going to do a queenside pawn storm and seize the initiative, and he is up right now. So uh, my pawn storm is not going to happen quite as quickly. I think what you'll notice there is he pushed the wrong pawn first. Um, he pushed the B pawn, and he should have pushed the A pawn. However, I don't respond to it in kind. Um, the A pawn gets pushed um, quite frequently to avoid the knight going to a4 and blockading the rest of the attack. So I move, I'm, I'm hell bent on uh, creating a kingside attack. And uh, now I'm, I'm going to miss an opportunity here. I just I think I'll tell you about it. Um, probably the correct course is to play knight takes knight check. And the reason why that's a good move is with this particular attempt to exchange off my white squared bishop, he doesn't really have time to take back with his bishop on f6 because I can sacrifice bishop on d3 takes h7 check, followed by knight to g5 check, and with a classic kingside attack. And even though my queen's attacked and everything else, I have plenty of time to swing over with my, my queen. So in effect, he's going to end up with doubled pawns on the f file after knight takes knight check, because we'll just move bishop to h6. Now this is not an attack that I'm used to playing, um, and I wasn't ready for it, so instead I exchanged off the bishops and just accepted the fact that uh, he didn't have time to analyze this being a, a blitz game, but knight takes e4 is probably a little stronger. And now, of course, it wants me to do the same thing without the bishop. And uh, I'm happy to do a variety of things here. It wants me to play bishop takes bishop, which followed by you know, queen takes results in a much stronger um, situation in terms of the recapture. His move queen to d5, uh, he decided at, at some point that uh, I was a tactical player and he had to be careful of me. So um, he just went for a queen exchange and gave up all his advantage. At this point, black is once again, he's slightly up, and I'm not making the number one computer moves, and neither is he. That was a little timid. Okay, so. Now what's going to happen is I, I really, I, I'm probably down, I'd say three quarters of a pawn according to, depending on which computer you believe at this point. The black's got a better position, there's no doubt about it, and I'm not doing all that great, but it's fairly drawish now. So I have to watch out for A-file penetration, and I was a little nervous about just playing pawn takes pawn, which I could have done, because it gives the b4 square to the knight. But as it turns out, I push c3 here, which is a kind of a stupid move. Um, the fact is that he can move it anyway. If I move um, c3, he just move knight to b4 with a, a great game because um, I can't allow the penetration on d3 and I can't allow the checks. So now you're seeing Stockfish is recommending the, the knight go there and um, the, he just has too many threats if I take. so. I, I would have to cover with king to d2, and then he can still just move rook to a2, and he would have a, a significant advantage, I'd say. But however, he did play that, and the game turns here very decisively. Interestingly, Stockfish 
wants to retreat to b8 with his knight. Now, how many players would really make a move like that? And this is where he decisively loses the game. All of a sudden, after this exchange with this kind of formation, this is tactical heaven. So he's pretty much lost here. As you see, we have a seventh rank penetration, and there's very little he can do. The rest of the game is pretty much easily textbooked and won. And now he resigns. So this was a, a game where black played very well. My recommendation is don't castle queenside uh, right away. That uh, was an experiment that didn't work out very well. He held his advantage, and um, it worked out well for black, except for one minor slip-up. He missed kind of an obscure continuation. Aside from that, uh, black did very well.